Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin and welcome back to the Buyer's Guide series. Today we are talking high end, absolute high end, no holds barred, no price point, best rods and reel combos that money can buy. If you guys, like Matt said, today is high end combos. No price point matters, no rules to break, except <laughs> for it had to be readily available stuff. Nothing that you have to ship from over from Japan or anything yeah. like that. The readily available stuff that you can go purchase at your local tackle shops or better yet, online at Tackle Warehouse. Uh, and it's no mistake that the expensive stuff is landing today on Black Friday for the sale. So go get you some of that savings. Um, after this, we're gonna do Keep BFS. We'll get, uh, we'll go all the way through uh, storage, swim baits, all sorts of stuff to help you guys save money during this holiday season and make it easier for your loved ones, your family members to buy you, the fishermen, the stuff that you want and need. <laughs> you wanna start? You want me to start? Sure, we're going uh, 11 combos each. Here's what we did. In the other videos, it's, it's a few key models that really fit the price point and are the best bang for the buck. This is a whole nother ball game. If we were to try and do that here, we would lose our minds, right? <laughs> you can't narrow down high-end tackle. So the only thing that limits us is the size of the video description where we will tell you what they are and put links to Tackle Warehouse for them. Last year we did 10 combos each and we had this much room left in the description. So we're going 11 combos each. And this is based on what you used this year, what stood out to you, what were your favorite combos, maybe a special fish catch. That's how we got here. They are in no particular order. And I lied, I need to catch my breath, you go first. All right, going first, uh, no particular order. This guy right here. This is the Shimano collab, I guess, with you know Loomis. It's mm -hmm. the Conquest. This is the 902. Uh, seven foot six, two power rod paired up with a Shimano Stella. Do I need to say more? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I love this rod. And uh, this year, I actually caught a smallmouth just under seven pounds on five pound test on this exact combo. Uh, the kids, the fam, the wife and the family, we were up north chasing mega smallmouth in ultra clear water. And I was throwing a little spark shad. Uh, on this exact combo right here and hooked that thing and, and played it. When you're dealing with ultra clear water, big fish, you need tackle, line, reels, rods that will handle those big fish um, and when they get close mm -hmm. to the boat. But this right here, the Conquest paired up with a Stella. The thing is buttery smooth. It's gonna last a, de a decade. Um, this rod I've had for several years. You can tell by the dirt on the, on the cork. It is just one of those rod and reel combos that if I go north, and I'm fishing clear water and I don't have, you know, a specific rod or reel I got to catch them on or I want to try, this is the one I'm picking up every time. Yeah, for we're going to start with something random. You sure went to the top. My goodness. <laughs> uh, my first one up here. This price point thing is crazy because anything above the $500 rod and reel is game. It qualifies, yeah. right? So some of these are outrageous like fifteen hundred dollar combos some are thousand dollar combos and some are i don't know seven eight hundred nine hundred this is the poison adrena paired up with a metanium mgl i went with this one because the seven three medium heavy poison adrena has turned out to just be a workhorse for me uh, of all things i've been using it for the the depths heard for lack of a better term <laughs> cover scat <laughs> that cover scat uh that little guy you fish it on a big <laughs> not a trd <laughs> not a trd <laughs> uh the 73 medium heavy has been an awesome rod for that which put it on the deck of my boat more often so i'm clipping it off tying other things on and has just proven to be an absolute workhorse paired to a metanium just a bomb proof combo a metanium will send a bait even that little weightless bait so far, it's just fun to fish with. Since he went Poison Adrena, I too am going to Poison Adrena. This is a seven foot medium. 
uh, spinning rod. I have that paired with the new Shimano Accents. Uh, this combo, ultra light. I mean, it's kind of like the NRX Plus kind of feel to it. Uh, very sensitive, but I've fallen in love with the Poison, the Poison Adrenal line this year. Uh, they were hard to get in, the, in years past, really, mm -hmm. to get them. Uh, but they've kind of expanded. They have some di different models available. But this one specifically, like I said, paired up with that uh, Accents 3000. This has been like my weightless Senko Nico rig setup. I actually have two favorites in this lineup. It used to be the 852. Now this one's kind of right there too. But the Poison Adrena, like Matt said, is a workhorse. Uh, the x -Sense, if you guys have not tried the new x -Sense, uh, buttery smooth. You know, kind of the Stella and the x -Sense, they're two different reels, right? Mm -hmm. They just have different feels. Uh, if you're going for light, go with the x -Sense. Yeah, Stella's like the bomb proof. Yeah. x -Sense is like the ultra finesse. Yep. All right, my next one up. This is a Mega Bass. We're jumping into the P5 line of rods. This is the baby plugging. And paired up, again, it can be anything. Oh, I've got a little BFS crank on there. <laughs> uh, it can be paired up to anything at any price point. So a couple of videos back, I talked about a Vanford, and I said I wasn't afraid to go chase giant smallmouth up north on that reel. I wasn't joking. My baby plugging has a Vanford 2000 on it. Smaller reel. It, it's a perfect balance for this smaller rod. And I fish it. Sometimes I'll fish with like six pound braid to super light leader. Sometimes I'll fish it with just five or six pound straight fluoro. It depends on application. But this little baby plugging is awesome. It is a rod that I throw a hair jig on and it's super short for hair jigging. It's the shortest hair jig rod I've ever had, but it does a great job. I really, really like it for throwing the three inch spark shad or throw in a 2.8 Kitek or a 3.3 Kitek on a guppy head. Just a killer combo for that. Next up for me, just talked about it in the last, last uh, rod I had combo, the NRX Plus 852. Now the real, I put the Stella on here because it was straight fluoro. The last time I was fishing this, I was fishing clear water. Uh, it could be interchangeable with the new Accents. Uh, I do feel like the drag on the Stella is a little bit smoother. So if I'm fishing ultra light line in clear water with big fish, I'm going with the Stella, but it's interchangeable. Um, that 852, talked about that rod for years. That is like the do everything finesse rod. It is, you know, shaky heads, weightless Senkos, yeah. Nico rigs, small swim baits. I mean, you name it, you can throw it on this rod. It's just got such a great action. It's got enough backbone to throw heavier stuff. It's got a soft tip to throw lighter stuff. And then again, paired up with a Stella or the Accents, uh, this is one of my favorite combos that I own. At this price point, there are a lot of people who live here, right? Who have entire lines of NRX Plus. But there are also a lot of guys who have always dreamt of having one. I remember clear as a bell, the first NRX I ever bought. And it was a huge moment for me. And the joy that I had fishing that thing for the months to follow, years to follow out of this world. It's a huge deal. If a guy is looking to buy one really high-end spinning rod and he doesn't know where to go, Tim just pegged it. It's an 852 NRX Plus, period. That was my first if, one I ever bought. Yep. yep. If you're buying one, that's it. And ironically, I wanted a casting rod. I bought the 852 casting. <laughs> literally the same model. Uh, just amazing rods. My next one up, because in this high-end gear, there's a lot of niche, right? Very specific. You need the exact action for an exact technique to be perfect. There's no try 18 different things on this rod. Well, there's a little bit of that. But for the most part, it's really dialed in for specific techniques. I don't even know what I picked up yet because I just grabbed the next one in my lineup. Uh -huh. All right. Last year, for years, Tim has raved about the 901. And last year, I talked about how much you loved that rod and how you would never let up about that rod. So I got me one. The NRX Plus 901 is crazy good. 
paired up to an Xsense. It's so light. It's so ridiculous. I have this thing spooled up with straight five pound fluoro because at first I was hair jigging on it, which is what it is just dialed for. It will send a tiny little finesse hair jig so far. Since then, I've done so many things. I don't know how many big smallmouth I caught on this rod this year. I do know that I caught a 25 pound carp on this <laughs> rod that swallowed a spy bait. Oh my gosh. I, th I thought I had a brown trout or something. It dumped the entire... I was afraid it was going to burn up we my reel. We were chasing it down with the troll motor. We chased it forever. <laughs> but this combo is incredible. Uh, the fact that you can hook a 25-pound fish and not lose it on straight 5-pound fluoro speaks volumes, right? I mean, it's just unbelievable. If you want super light spy bait, hair jig... I do fudge. Sometimes if I'm around, like if I see a big sight fish and I'm going to throw a drop shot to it, I like that length and that super light tip and I'll grab that rod and fudge it in there uh, instead of reaching for my drop shot rod. But it's an amazing, amazing combo. Yeah, I was going to pick the same combo, but I wanted to uh, Matt pat me on the back a little bit. So I let... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we tried not to have too much overlap because there are... And we, we, we fish together all the time. We share information all the time. So we purchase a lot of the same stuff yep. if one person is adamant, adamant about something or vice versa. And it sure feels good when, in this case, it doesn't go in my favor. But when the other guy has to buy the rod you've been raving about. The next combo I'm going to talk about, same thing, NRX Plus. Uh, there's something special. Well, there was something special about NRX. Yep. When they came out with NRX Plus, it was like, now what? what? What now? Right? I mean, it was it was already the state. It was already the bar, you know. And they just raised it that much. Um, this is their Ned Rig rod. It's the 821 uh, NRR, and they're just. I wish you guys could feel this. You know, uh, it is so light. Again, I talked about Stella drag versus accents. Uh, just, I mean, it feels like a feather in your hand. And when you're fishing. You know, rough water or long days, the weight, the way it feels in your hand matters. It matters in your wrist and your elbow and your shoulder and your back. It really, really matters. This was an interesting one for me because those of you guys that know me or follow the channel for a long time know that I love throwing longer spinning rods for what Matt just talked about. Light line, you get a longer cast. Um, and when you do hook that fish, that rod stays loaded and just plays those fish. So Going with a six foot ten rod for a Ned rig was a little. Uh, I wasn't sure about it, but I tried it and I loved it. Uh, super sensitive. Obviously, you get that sensitivity with the NRX Plus, but I didn't mind not having that long rod. And um, this has quickly become one of my favorite combos because it is so comfortable in the hand. Those of you guys that know the NRX line from way back when know they had the 820, which was their four to 10 pound uh, drop shot rod. Well, they've since done away with that, but now they have the 821, which could play into that. It's got a little stiffer tip, but this guy right here is an amazing light finesse shorter rod. All right, I just did a little bit of rearranging because I hadn't even looked at the order my rods were in, but we have been hammering the finesse and ultra high end, it's not always about finesse. So I did a little rearranging so I could jump right in here. Go in a different direction. Destroyer P5 again. <laughs> this is the Mega Bass Destroyer P5 Tequila Baccarat. Paired up to a Shimano Bantam. You want the complete and utter opposite of finesse. That's what that is. This is the craziest rod that Mega Bass makes. It is rated, I'll read it to you, Tequila Baccarat, 7 foot, 3 quarter ounce, to four ounces, 12 to 30 pound line. You've got to be kidding me. So I scooped this thing up because I had to see what that was all about, right? Paired to a Bantam, I put about 10 different reels on this thing. Paired to a Bantam, this combo is bulletproof. I mean, can do anything from throwing a swim bait. They designed it to be able to literally go to Baccarat, go to Mexico, and take one rod that you could throw a jig, a big worm, 
a swim bait, do all these different things on, be able to throw a mag draft and a jig on the same rod. It's a remarkable action. It really does do those things. I've done everything from throw a jig to a swim bait to a flutter, a magnum flutter spoon, all on the same rod. And with a bantam, the bantam has so much power. Its ability to just torque on a fish, no matter how hard they're pulling back, is remarkable. Power on power in a rod. That was your term, by the way, power on power. In a rod that can adapt and throw so many different things is really remarkable. So for me, you know, every angler is different. Um, for me, if I'm spending my money, typically if I'm going for sensitivity for rods that are light, it's going to be your bottom contact for the most part mm -hmm. to be your bottom contact rod. You know, I don't need the most sensitive rod in the world to throw a, a, a popper on, right? I'm visually right. seeing that bite, but it's fun, right? Heck it's yeah, easy it's on fun. the elbow. It's easy on the back. Um, so most of mine that I picked are bottom contact or sensitivity based mm -hmm. so um probably let's go here again no, no now we're thinking them through now we're following them in order yeah i'm i'm going out of order so this guy right here this is the saint croix legend extreme this is the seven four heavy this is a workhorse this yes, you can do whatever you want on uh, I use it for, for medium, heavy size jigs, bigger Carolina rigs, bigger uh, shaky heads, magnum shaky heads, any of those bottom contact uh, worm techniques, usually mm -hmm. wobble heads. Uh, this thing... And I have leaned on some visual frog bites on that <laughs> rod too. It is a workhorse. Um, you know, their handle... This, it's, it's really tacky. It's really easy to hold in the hand. It's not slippery when it gets wet. I've used these rods up north in the weather. No issues. No surprise there. It comes from Wisconsin. It's designed in the weather. Um, how do I explain this rod? It is as sensitive or more than an NRX. A little bit heavier, but when balanced with the right reel, it all works. It mm -hmm. feels really good. I mean, you could take the lightest rod in the on the in the world, and and put the wrong reel on it, and it's going to be tip heavy, heavy or butt heavy. It's not going to feel right. Um, so I paired that up with the Antares. Uh, you want to talk about high end? I mean, this is the reel that wins all the long distance casting um, competitions. This is hmm. the yeah. This <laughs> is. Well, we all know that he's going to talk for 20 minutes on it, so I'll just stop right there. But this is an amazing <laughs> combo. Um, yeah. All right. My next one up, staying with this power thing now. Uh, I love throwing a jig. You guys have probably been down the rabbit hole with me in a video or two or 20. You know that I love my Brailist. I think that's the baddest jig rod there is. That said, I'm forever on the hunt. Right? I'm always looking for more, for better, for higher end, for more sensitive, for lighter weight. And I've been on a mission to see if I can find an even higher end, insanely sensitive jig rod for big jigs. And I have made some super high end purchases that I was disappointed with. That's the gamble. It happens. Now, I put those rods into other applications and they're not bad, but I have been searching I'm, I'm not going to say, yes, this is it, because I've even got another one in this video, but I'm going to say, I, I think we're there. I have put a lot of time into this rod. This is a Conquest 905C MBR. You guys know I love the MBR series, but this is an extra heavy MBR. You would think that that would not be the right rod for throwing a jig, but MBRs have such soft tip sections this rod is incredible. Paired up to that Antares 70. I'll try not to go nutty about it. <laughs> it is so high end. It is so light. It is so dialed. To be this light and be an extra heavy is freakish. And then with that MBR action, its ability to adapt and do different things is amazing. But this is an incredible power fishing combo. So many choices. I got uh, six more. I think I'm going to go with this guy. This is probably 
one of, if not my most used favorite combo this year. This, I already know what it is, this just is, from that. This is the Destroyer P5 Z Crank. Mm -hmm. um, Mega Bass, right? Ultra light, ultra sensitive, and very versatile. You can throw little BFS cranks if you want, little blade baits, little underspins, you know, little gamakatsu or cool baits underspins, 2.8s, 3.3s, whatever. Uh, but I've been using it as my top water rod. All those fish catches you guys have seen all year on the shower blows or the gunfish or even the poppers, uh, it's all been on this rod. Mm -hmm. And my my top water rod before was an IMX Pro, um, but this thing is just lighter. And again, it doesn't have to be super sensitive for throwing top water. But I tell you what, paired up, this is the Daiwa Stee CT SV TW. I'll say it again. Say that was a okay. mouthful. Stees CTSVTW. Now, just like the Antares, this is not the cheapest reel on the market, but I spent the money. Yeah, what's that reel cost? I think it's like $720. <laughs> High end gear. But I have one. I might buy two. I mean, this thing is I awesome. I know you rave about it. I I've, I've been playing around with, uh, and you guys have probably seen the videos, lighter braid, like the super slick or the 131, yep. you know, smooth braid that doesn't, it's not real abrasion or it's not really uh, abrasive, uh, really light braid, either 10 pound braid or six pound braid. We've played around with that on BFS, mm -hmm. 10 pound braid and then tying like a 10 or 12 pound mono leader. I could almost spool this reel. So if I'm fishing offshore and you know, the spots or smallies come up schooling, I can send this bait, almost spool it, and get on those fish and reach them that I can't physically reach with some of my other combos. And it is super light, super sensitive. Again, you could throw blade baits on it, throw little uh, tail spins, under spins. This is an all around winner. If you guys are looking for a medium to medium light kind of action combo, this thing is amazing. All right, my next one up, I'm staying to the power end. Daiwa, now I committed a crime here. You guys are going to, the Daiwa guys are going to have to forgive me. <laughs> I don't own tons of high-end Daiwa reels. And I'm trying to decide where I want to put this rod. So it has a Shimano on it. But this is the Steez AGS bottom contact rod. It is a medium, heavy, heavy action i went with this because we've got some friends that are right. fanatical Daiwa guys so i leaned on those guys and just said if, if i'm gonna dabble because they know i love i love jig rods right i just i do i own too many jig rods and i'm always looking just like i just said if i'm gonna if i'm gonna dive in on a steez ags which one and it, it was unanimous that's the one so I've been putting a lot of time into this rod to see. It's a super nice rod, crazy sensitive. I do have it paired up to a Shimano Bantam, which is an absolute workhorse reel. We just talked about that. One note, one thing that is difficult for me, I'm a braid deleter guy. And I'm very picky about the knots I tie in my braid deleter. My leader knot is pretty large. When I picked this rod up, it comes with a pamphlet that says, don't fish braid the leader. So I've run it on straight fluoro, which for me detracts from it. But there are plenty of times when I want to throw fluoro and I've been throwing this combo and really enjoying it. I'm still just like with the, the high end conquest in that really heavy, extra heavy action. I'm still making my mind up on exactly where they fit, but they're crazy high end, crazy sensitive. It's a killer rod. All right, next up for me, again, we tried to, there's a lot of overlap, so we tried to uh, mix it up as much as possible. Um, I'm gonna go here. This is the St. Croix Legend Elite. One of their higher end, it's it's just below the Legend Extreme. Almost like we fished together. 
Uh, Legend Elite. I'm blown away with these rods. I could in, I could own an entire lineup of these rods. Um, the more I have, I think I own two, maybe three. Um, but this one specifically, I love. This is the 610. I'm going to read it to you. 610 medium extra fast. Okay. You guys know how much we love that 610 medium X Pride. This has a little faster tip. So, super universal rod. Blade baits, flipping drop shot. I actually drop shot on this rod, which is why I have this little guy here. Um, top water, if you're throwing a walking bait, this is a extremely versatile rod. And I love that six foot 10 length. Mm -hmm. We love that X Pride. Uh, that's why I tried this rod, and it's one of my favorites. And uh, I paired that up with an Aldebaran. Obviously, super light, but just like the NRX is just like you know these other combos we've talked about. You know that that Mega Bass, the Z Crank. This is just on my boat because it's so universal. That Z Crank, day. I can throw a blade. I can throw a lot of the same baits on this, uh, and it's just so fun to fish. Granted, you can get away with you know. Throwing a drop shot on a spinning rod, but if you can get away with throwing a bait caster out here on Chick, a lot of times we're flipping or pitching around grass lines or we're throwing a, a power shot, something that's a little bit heavier. Throwing it on a bait caster, I like, I prefer instead of throwing it on a spinning rod. But this combo right here, guys, if you're looking to get into the, the Legend Elite lineup at all, check out this combo right here. Those, the same way that we like the long spinning rods, the short bait casters are really fun to fish. They're pleasant. They are. Right? They're just, they're they easy way to fish. less. They're easy they're, to fish. They are so easy to fish. So, also, St. Croix Legend Elite, uh, but spinning, and again, short bait caster, long spinning, this is the 7.6 medium. I have this paired up to a twin power, Shimano twin power. We mentioned before, Shimano sort of has two threads that run through the spinning rods. There's rods that are, are reels, reels, I mean, sorry. Reels. There's reels that are designed around power, and there's reels that are designed about, like, ultra finesse. The twin power is in that Stella-esque following. It's a bomb-proof reel. It's about power, and it's, in my mind, it's the budget Stella. It's all the things I like about Stella for about half of the money, or maybe a little bit more than that, but hugely discounted from Stella, but the Twin Power is an amazing workhorse spinning reel. This setup, the 7.6 medium with a Twin Power, is what I throw a tube on when we're up north. I love this combo. I've caught so many big fish throwing the tube on that combo. In clear water, I say up north it could be anywhere, but in clear water, distance is everything. Right, you have to get way out there to lead the fish or they spook. And that 7.6 lets me do that. And then the combination of this action and that twin power lets me put the screws to them. When I go to put that hook set on them, I hammer them because they're way out there. And you really have to get those fish from a distance. And now you've got a four, five, six pound smallmouth that's angry at the end of a bomber cast, it takes the right gear to get those fish. And it took me a long time to dial in this combo. This is my combo for doing that. All right, I got one more St. Croix. I talked about the 7.4 Heavy earlier, paired up with the Antares. If you're looking at the Legend Extreme line, the other rod that you need to check out is the 7.1 Medium Heavy. This is another workhorse, just a little bit lighter. Uh, I actually paired this one up with the Bantam. The Bantam is a workhorse as well. It's super smooth. It's just got a different feel than the Metanium. I love the Metanium. It's probably my favorite all around bait casting reel, the MGL. Yeah. But the Bantam, super smooth, weighs a little bit more. And with these uh, St. Croix, like I talked about earlier, they weigh a little bit more. They're super sensitive but it balances really well. Even though they might have made this rod balance it to a Daiwa, it balances really well to a Bantam. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is another must-have. Again, the Legend Extreme, one of, if not the most sensitive rods on the market. Um, 
and they're just great all around rods. So if you're looking to, they're, they're pricey, they're up in the mid sixes. Um, so if you're looking to get one or two, check out the 7.4 heavy or the 7.1 uh, medium heavy. All right, I've got a G Loomis GLX up next. And this video is all over the place, right? Yeah, You've got just... one combo that's like seven or 800 bucks. The next one's like 1500 bucks. We're all over the map. But Tim and I are all about building perfect rod and reel combos for specific things. We're always trying to find the absolute best for a job. We don't care what brand it is. We don't care what the price point is. I don't care when I put a $450 reel on a $200 rod if it does the job I'm after. So this combo, this is the GLX 844C MBR. I love them. I love the MBRs. The 844C GLX is my favorite topwater rod. Paired up to a Metanium DC, it's a joke. Like it, it is the most effortless topwater fishing I've ever done in my life. Walking baits, it's incredible. I can send them. I don't care if I'm coming around a corner and it's howling wind on the outside. I've got a DC. I just lay it out there. Uh, it's unbelievable how well adapted that combination is for that style of fishing. It is the four power. It's a heavy, it's rated a heavy rod, but the tip section on this thing in an MBR is anything but a heavy rod, right? That's, <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm telling you. You get back here, it's a heavy rod. So it's perfect because it's so light in the tip. I can walk those baits effortlessly. I can fight those fish in the mid. But if I get a big one and she's going to put me into cover, I can lean back into it. And I do have that rod that will actually stop and pull that fish back. It's an amazing combo. Uh, decisions, decisions. Um, I think I'm going to go this one. So, Dobbins, you guys have heard us talk about it throughout the, the rest of this series, the 400, the 500, the 300, the 200, the 100. Um, their ecstasy line is their high-end line. This is to compete with the NRX Plus, to compete with the extremes, uh, the Steez is. It is a phenomenal lineup. This specific rod is the 755C and... I originally got this rod, again, bottom contact, right? That was what I was thinking. I was thinking heavy uh, biffle heads or heavy Texas rigs, maybe some flipping. Um, but where this rod has shined for me in the last couple of years uh, is light frogging. You know, I typically throw the 7.3 Extra Heavy X-Pride. That is mm -hmm. my favorite frog rod. But I've needed, in the last year or two, Sometimes they don't eat the big frogs. They yep. need a finesse frog. KR all like the, day long. Exactly. And this rod is money for that. It's got enough backbone to actually throw straight bait and throw a frog. Uh, and then also, this year, I was throwing hair jigs on it. And it worked. Big hair jigs. Not, yeah, not, yeah, not, hair not jig. little hair yeah. Like big ledge hair jigs. You know, you're talking three quarter ounce, ha uh, uh, one ounce. Um, and I paired that up, you know, we have friends that are Daiwa guys that are always raving about this, raving about that, and they hear us raving about the Metanium, and uh, trusted them. I went and picked up the Zillion SVTW. Uh, this is the reel that won at ICAST last year, so I needed to try it out. Went out, bought one, and it is, I have no complaints. So I paired it up with this guy right here. I can send that hair jig almost to the bottom of the spool. Uh, no issues, I've, I've used it now for four or five months, su still super smooth. Uh, it is a really, really nice reel. So if you're looking to go high end on the Daiwa side, um, you know, not spend $700 on the Steve stuff, <laughs> this is a great reel. And again, paired up with that ecstasy, it's super universal. I mean, you could, you could throw different things on it. You could probably throw light flutter spoons, six inch flutter spoons, that sort of stuff. But uh, for me, the hair jigs and then light frogging straight braid was money. Nice. My next one here, we're still talking MBRs. I mean, I love them. It's, sorry, 
If I could, I would pull the whole line out and just line them up and do a video on that. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do that one day. This is the Conquest 842C MBR paired up to an Aldebaran. Ridiculous. So light. We're talking about those shorter rods being light. So light. Crazy light. Sensitivity beyond. Just beyond. This rod fishes so well on the Aldebaran for any finesse technique. And then you could also throw a BFS reel on it, and this rod is true BFS. I mean, the 842 MBR, when I throw a 5-inch Senko wacky rigged, she's maxed out. Like, that's, from there down, that's where it shines. True finesse. Paired with an Aldebaran, it's freakish. The Aldebaran, for me, the Metanium is my favorite main bait caster of all time. Of every bait caster I've ever used, the Metanium MGL is it. For finesse bait casters, that Aldebaran, hands down, is it. Those are my babies. Uh, I just, I love those reels. They're incredible. So this combo, this pairing, feels like a toy, but you could feel anything at any distance. It's freakish. I so enjoy this combo. <laughs> so I don't repeat everything Matt just said about the Aldebaran. I'll leave that for last. Uh, <laughs> my next combo is this guy right here. This is a Destroyer P5. This is the Dark Sleeper. Now, those of you guys that aren't familiar with the Dark Sleeper, that is a, it's a swim bait made by Mega Bass, but this rod is great for all swim baits. 3.8s, 4.3s, 4.8s, whatever small finesse swim bait you're throwing, this is the rod. Pair that up with a Metanium, the MGL. Like Matt said, this is my favorite bait casting reel. If I had to pick one to fish on all the different techniques, this would be it, and I have a ton of them. I've went out of my way to try a lot of other things, but this is hands down my favorite, the Metanium MGL. But this guy right here, the P5, the Dark Sleeper, um, that is the rod I take north. If I'm throwing Kitex yeah. or if I'm throwing Largo Shads or if I'm throwing Dark Sleepers, um, this is my swim bait setup. Yep, 12 pound fluoro and send it. Yep. <laughs> All right, my last bait caster, and then I'm actually ending on a spinning rod. This is a Mega Bass Triza series. I talked about this in last year's buyer's guides, but a different model because last year I did a ton of damage on a different model. This year it was the Dragoon. I have this paired up to a Metanium. This is a travel rod. If you had told me a few years back that I would fall in love with multi-piece rods, I would have thought that you had lost your mind. They have come so far. These Triza rods are so sensitive, so balanced, so dialed, that I fish with them when I'm not traveling. But I travel a lot. Uh, whether that be on trips fishing, whether Tim and I are going together, whether I'm on a family trip somewhere, it's so easy for me to take these dialed in rods and I stick them in a rod tube and I carry them on the plane as my personal item. It's not even my carry-on, it's my personal item. I take my reels, I throw them in my carry-on. I take rods on trips now when I'm not even sure I'm going to fish. fish. Yeah. I carried them all the way to Idaho last month and didn't have an opportunity to fish, but it was nothing to take them with me. Uh, it just opened so many doors. The Dragoon specifically, uh, I got the opportunity to spend one morning on the California Delta and we opened up on Striper, and that rod was amazing. This rod, it comes with two tips. And between those two tips, you can do all sorts of things. You could frog. I was throwing a Mega Bass Mega Dog on it. You could throw a Senko on it. You could throw a Big Worm. You could throw a Jig. Such a universal rod that breaks down into a little tiny package. You stick it in the case and go. It's nuts. And it doesn't have to be across the country or across the globe. I stick these rods in my truck because you just don't. I mean, we're fishing junkies. Right. You do not know oh, when the opportunity yeah. will present itself. Uh, but it's amazing that 
travel rods have gotten to the point where these can be everyday carry rods with no sacrifice and a bunch of added bonus. Yeah, the travel rods have come such a long distance in a short period of time. And uh, I've seen Matt, I mean, last year I was in Texas. He, he came down and met, he brought some of these rods. We were on Falcon, he was using some of these things. Yep. Um, my favorite thing about this whole rod, I don't know why other companies don't do it, is they put dots on oh, the different yeah. pieces to make sure you're, how easy is you it? You don't have to play this yeah, game. Yeah, you literally just line up the dots and you're good to go. But um, these are remarkable rods. I've seen a lot of big fish uh, pulled in by them. All right, for me, last but not least, I saved this one for last. Um, this is the NRX Plus 853 um, paired up with an Aldebaran. Light on light, um, this is it for me. This is the pinnacle for my combos. If I'm finesse kind of fishing, you know, that, that three power rod, you can throw your light jigs on it. You can throw any of your light stuff, you know, half ounce or lighter typically. But the NRX Plus, like I said, in the, inter the beginning of this video, that was, the NRX was the bar, and then NRX Plus kind of set the bar even higher. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of them. You know, they aren't that inexpensive. So and they're I, not that easy to get. Yeah, I only have... It's hard. I have a lot of NRXs. I only have three, four NRX Pluses that I've been able to pick up. If I could do the entire line, I would. Uh, but they're hard to get, like Matt said. But if you guys are looking for, like, ultra light, ultra sensitive, NRX Plus is the way to go. This specific rod, like I said, is the 853. Very universal. You could go with the 854 too. It was kind of a toss-up for me. Um, but I use the 853 more because it's I have it paired up with the uh, the Alder Baron. The 854, I have it paired up with the Mantanium. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more power fishing. But for me, like I said, light jigs, especially up north when we're throwing in deep, clear water, you're throwing you know, little Kitek tungsten jigs, that sort of thing. Yep. This is an amazing amazing combo and it is so so light and so fun to fish that's not what i throw that kitech jig on i'm gonna try that i like that that might stick um my last one is also an nrx plus i ended up here at random but i'm glad i ended up here uh this is the drop shot rod the 822s dsr paired up to a stella hands down the lightest rod I own, hands down, the smoothest, most insane reel I own with the most freakish drag ever. Uh, when it comes down to, I know I'm going to tie into a giant smallmouth, here we are. Uh, I'm not known as the drop shot guy between us, right? I'm not typically the finesse guy. But when we go finesse fishing, I go all in. I, I want my odds to be the very best they can be. When we go to Wisconsin, I don't know what it is about the state. I mean, can you make a generalization about a whole state? Because I'm about to. <laughs> I don't know what people do about California all the time. I catch monster <laughs> smallmouth on a drop shot in Wisconsin. When I'm in Michigan, I hardly drop shot. When I'm in Wisconsin, my confidence is like to the moon. I don't know why. But this is, that's where this got paired up. And it stayed there. Insanely light braid to five and six pound fluoro, drop shotting, massive smallmouth. This thing is just freakish. It's so good. It's so much fun. And uh, as it turns out, it was the perfect combo to end this video on. Yeah, I think we both agree on the NRX Plus stuff. You know, Stella's, the Accents, you know, it's it, they're tough to beat i mean they are we fish a lot of things we fish a lot of brands a lot of models and uh they're still at the top for me yeah where are we going from here we've got a bunch of videos coming so this is coming up that'll be fun we're continuing still every single day don't wait for the monday wednesday friday videos at least through the end of the black friday sales, sales. will be every day after that, we'll take a little break. We'll get you some normal videos because we are transitioning to winter. You need some of that. And then we'll kick right back up with buyer's guides mixed in on our regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Yeah, we're just trying to pack these things in so you could take advantage of the sale. Exactly. Get those discounts because a lot of this stuff is not on sale the rest of the year. So it is important to get it in and to get it while it's in stock. You know, some guys we know that go out and buy the stuff 
you know, early. So make sure and you're checking it out. There are people who bought NRX Pluses last year and still don't have them. That's a bummer. They are hard to get. Yeah. But I will tell you, if you are ever going to be back ordered on something that's worth it, just sit there because <laughs> when they come, you will be stuck. Mind, mind blown. You'll be yes. very happy that you waited and yes. very, well, maybe not happy that you waited, but very happy with your purchase. Yeah. Guys, if you like this type of video, give us a thumbs up. Down in the video description, we will link all of these products uh, and our, you know, what we use them for, like we talked yep. about in the video. You know, if you need a, a Nico rig rod or you need a drop shot rod, we'll link all that stuff down below in the video description. Uh, most importantly, so you can send that off to your families and friends, guys that are going to be people that will be purchasing for you so you can make it easy for them and you get the NRX Plus or the Legend Elite, whatever it may be. Yeah, if you've got friends that will buy you $1,500 combos for Christmas, I'd like to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> guys, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys.